guys, this is Niveda and today I'm going to speak to you on how to represent a sine wave in both polar and rectangular form. An alternating current uh, could be represented in a sine wave in terms of voltage and time in this manner where AM shows the, amp the maximum amplitude of the wave. And uh, we know from the theory of an alternative current that two root, ta root two times the voltage, the root mean squared voltage is equal to the peak to peak voltage which is two times the amplitude that's like this distance plus this distance and we know that the general equation of a sine wave in an alternating current circuit is am times sine omega t plus or minus theta where am is the amplitude as we know it angular velocity it's 2 pi f or 2 pi t and theta being the shift of the wave either going in this direction or that direction depending on the sign and uh, as we go to convert a sine wave from in an equation of an AC to polar form it's it's really simple the only thing we'll we'll need to know is that the length r that's over here of a of, from a sine wave is basically the amplitude or root 2 times the root mean squared of the voltage and theta is the shift of the angle that's this theta is the same as this theta so a graph on how the conversion changes will be looking something like this. So this is the theta, the same theta, and uh, R will be the amplitude. Now when we go to convert it from a polar form to a rectangular form, uh, first of all we we'll need to know a rectangular form is generally expressed in terms of x plus i y. So uh, R cos theta is x and R y equals R sine theta. We just derive from this where x this is r cos theta and y this is r sine theta so after we derive it we could just write it in terms of x and i y and just giving you a brief of uh, what we've learned today the amplitude to into uh, or the to, uh, root of voltage the root mean square of voltage is into sine omega t plus theta could be converted into a polar form by just knowing this simple fact the same way you could convert from polar to rectangular by just knowing it x equals r cos theta and y equals r sine theta. And you could you could always go through the previous steps and get from uh, rectangular to the sine form uh, just by going out through in a reverse mechanism. The only thing you'll need to know that is r squared equals x squared plus y squared, the root of it, for easy simplification. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm Nivedan. Thank you.